Well, hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to introduce the two most important concepts in object-oriented programming, aggregation and inheritance. Aggregation means inclusion into an object. Aggregation is what we do when we put instance variables inside of an object. When an object contains another object, we say that that object has a, another object or is in a has a relationship with the other object. Inheritance is about receiving features due to a relationship. A class of objects can inherit features from another class by having the class extend the other class. When a class inherits from one class, it means that the first class is a child of the second class or that the class is in a is a relationship with the other class. Let me show you. I have started BlueJ and created a new project. In this project, I'm going to create two classes, vehicle and company. And what I would like to express in the code is that a vehicle has a manufacturer, which is a company. Let me show you. I do that by including an instance variable to hold the company in objects of the vehicle class, like this. you'll see that there is now an arrow pointing from the vehicle to the company, indicating that the vehicle class uses the company class. And for a good measure, let's include an accessor and a mutator. Let me open up the company and add a name to it so we can tell companies apart. Now let's go back to the vehicle. See that that still works. And let's go and create a vehicle. And what I would like to do now is to set the manufacturer to a company and to do that, I'm going to create a new company. I'm going to call the company Volvo, and the name is going to be Volvo. So now I can set the vehicle manufacturer to Volvo. Notice it's the name of the instance here. Let's go see what we have accomplished. So if I go and inspect, see the manufacturer is set and it's pointing to another object. And that object is a company with the name Volvo. So this way we have now included a company inside of a vehicle and that is called aggregation. Now let's move on to inheritance. Let me create a car class. What I would like to express in the code 
is that a car is a type of vehicle. I can do that by using this arrow button here. First, select the subclass or the child class, and then select the superclass or the class that we're inheriting from. You'll notice that the car class just changed and added this extends vehicle. So now, if I create a car, just call it car one, and go look at it, you'll see that we're inheriting here from vehicle. And from vehicle, we get these two functions here, the get manufacturer and the set manufacturer. And that is what inheritance means. In this particular case, we say that our car is in a is a relationship with vehicle, or just that a car is a vehicle, that the vehicle class is the super class, because other classes can belong to it too, and that the car class is the subclass of the vehicle class. Let me create another class. And open that up. And let me again inherit vehicle into motorcycle. Selecting the superclass. You see the source code changed the same way we did with car. And now if I create a new motorcycle, it inherits these two methods from the vehicle class. So in conclusion, we have managed to create a little network of objects and classes such that the car class and the motorcycle class are both subclasses of the vehicle class and they can do anything a vehicle class can do. And we can see the methods that are inherited right here. So they both have a company and vehicle is in a has a relationship with company. In other words, a vehicle has a company and because car and motorcycle inherits from vehicle, they also have a company. And that's pretty much all there is to aggregation and inheritance.